Ting yin and yang, bing and bang. Today, we have a duo as guests and it's about to get messy. So you might want to sit down for this. Oi, sit down. Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. You might want to sit down for this. I hope you're already sitting down. Uh, have you guys had a good sit down this week? Mm. Have you all been sitting down? No, I haven't had the time to sit down, oh. to be honest. <laughs> I not, think I want a live flat. Yeah. You want a live? Yeah. I think after this, Belle and I will just be horizontal for a while. Oh. <laughs> We're very tired. <laughs> oh my gosh. May you have you had time to sit down this week? No. This week has been crazy. What day is it today, actually? Today is Wednesday. Today is uh, Wednesday. And it's not stopping. Okay. It's just there's yeah. no rest for the broken. That's the saying, right? No rest for I think the broken need to rest. There's no rest for the broken. Speaking anyway, for the broken, any, yeah. I think going uh, ahead is also good. I yes. love, I love the fact that you know we started with sit down because our friends that we are on the show today. Yes. this is the beginning of the Marvel crossovers apparently oh in our my God. in our, our little universe, a cinematic universe called. There's the, a lot to live up to. Yes, yes. I mean, nothing much the, now actually. Um, the current one, end game now is like yeah, yeah. the bar is low. Okay. Yeah, that's why we so can. That's, that's why. That's, that's how why. we select ourselves. Yes, yes here. Exactly. we are here. Everyone, <laughs> let's please give a round of applause uh, to Belle and Amanda. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, why are you all here actually? Yeah, why are you here actually? What's yeah. happening? I love, just to hang out. Just I love Malaysian out. food. <laughs> what's happening? Like, what's the crossover? For everyone who has no yeah. idea, like myself, what's going on actually? I think by the time this pod comes out, yeah. right, there will be a new show Whoa. on Takeaway that you Whoa. guys might or might not have seen. And it's called... Messy and, and we mean it. it. Yeah, they've been practicing that for a long, <laughs> long time. <laughs> I don't want to say. Yo, so I'm assuming both of you are the the, the, the host. host. Yes. It'd be weird if it wasn't, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know what I would, yeah. what we would be why, doing here. Why would we be inviting both of them to do that call like, out? You guys are just out. like the press PR. Oh, oh well, we are four episodes in Whoa. so far, nice. right? Four episodes now. Counting and, the um, practice episode, and then maybe six. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You know, there were two episodes that we uh kind of were like, so we can do better. We can do better than okay. this. Yeah, we weren't okay. feeling it. Okay, okay. Uh, but we're getting there, right? Nice, nice. Congrats, yeah. ladies, on Thank the launch you. Thank of you. the new podcast. Thank nice. you. Yeah, I think I think before that, you know, uh, if you guys have, or if you have watched their podcast or you're going to watch, expect a different energy compared to sit down. These girls are a whole different league of their own. Uh, today, we just want to like, okay, talk about- well, For everyone who's like, you know, yeah. not watching this, right? Actually, we haven't introduced who they are. Yeah, that's why right. We're going to talk about who you guys are, introduce <laughs> yeah. you guys a bit. I will assume that everyone who should, should not. know. Yeah. All right, all right. I mean, let's just get some Bell background. and Amanda. Let's <laughs> just, uh, we, we actually know these girls for quite, a, quite some time. Too long. Oh my gosh. And you I see like kid. it's a bad thing. No, no, sorry. Yeah, I mean, you know, how, who you know first and who you know uh, where? I knew Belle first. Wow. Uh, and it's been, I want to say 10 years now already. Is it? It has, has already it been, been 10 years. So you guys yeah, met I, you were 10. Oh my God, uh, guys. No, no. That's the math you can expect on the show, guys. Years. They are not math tuition yeah, at this it's, point. It's not. <laughs> uh, 10 years. Yeah, we, I think we've definitely known each other for 10 years now. And I've known better quite a long time as well. We met through my ex. Uh, Seven, eight years now? Yeah, yeah. Also almost 10 years already. Yeah, but we met them in totally, dif in totally different worlds. Yeah, right? no. yeah. yeah. And then there was a crossover. Yes. 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 And yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Also there for, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Crazy. If there's anything we can assure people today, right? Yeah. Is if you are in Singapore and if you're in KL, don't think uh, that your circles of friends are too far apart. Mm. I just want to say first, right? Bell. Depends who you hang out with. Uh. If you hang out with like Jen Hao, then I think that maybe the circle is different. Yeah, actually, I wish I knew more people. I wish I hung out with Jen Hao. Yeah. But when at the start though, like Linda, 10 years ago, we did a bit. Uh, I, like, I mean, I met Jen Hao like a few times and his wife Debbie, they're really nice people, yeah, but so I, nice. I, I, there's no crossover there. Oh, what were you saying, bro? <laughs> we met, we met, we met Jen Hao, I think Yeah, I mean, of ago. course, like, you all live in Singapore. Lah. Oh, yeah. Jen Hao actually came over to the playground, the first playground that That's we all wet. shot in. Yeah. And we were shooting stuff in that in playground. Old, in our old but house. that video never got released. What yeah. happened? I, Until I just didn't now. make it. No, oh, we don't have it. Yeah, I, I don't have I don't this know. video. That's what we're here for. No, but shout, no, out, no. shout out to that time. I think Aaron was in Wild Banana. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were so Wild Banana. Yeah. He brought this like kid over, and yeah, Jen Hao, can Jen Hao's kid. A kid Crazy. was a kid at that time. Uh, and yeah, that was my first memories of that. Yeah. But talking about first memories, uh, I remember going to Singapore for like, I think the earlier part of it. And that's how we met Belle. Uh, I, I think it was more the fact that her Instagram name was Belly Welly Jelly. And I thought she was a clothing brand. 
Uh, at least, at least you never say like jelly brand, you know. Yeah. I, some people thought I opened like. You're a, a shop. I was gonna like say like food, like a jelly shop. cake. Oh, oh no! Cause in in my jelly in my mind Makes it was sense. like the jelly yeah. bean, like jelly. I don't know. There was a there's a shoe brand or something like that. Like, like I don't Melissa know. Melissa jelly shoes. Something like something that, like that. Uh, right? Like a, or like a soft toy brand. She said that brand. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, <laughs> Melissa one, jelly. The shoes. one that has yeah. like the the very strong smell when you walk into the store, walk past the store. Like the plastic smell. Yeah. It? Plastic hey, with see, like a scent. We, yeah, we were a lot of things to learn. Like, I didn't know it's a thing. We are very poor revelations. <laughs> Amanda is <laughs> not poor because she's no longer just a Malaysian. Yes. Yes. Well, we'll talk about that later. Yes. I feel poor. Okay. <laughs> Especially after having a kid. How about oh, that? My God, oh my gosh. Blah. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. Amanda's <laughs> a mom. Oh yeah. So long story. I think long story short. Wow. We've known each other for almost a decade. We are going into the decade. Yeah. yeah. They are lovely people. Lovely. Uh, so, uh, I would, I dare say at this point, Belle is actually Malaysian in the Singaporean body. Definitely. At this point. Uh, Amanda was a Malaysian trying uh, yeah. to go to Singapore. I, she just I want to know, you know, how the heck did you guys decide? You looked at each other and you're like, I think we should. Yeah, do a, a podcast. Yeah. Like, like, honestly, this parry is wild. When I heard it, yeah. I was like, why? Are we talking about the same people? Are these two groups? Like, how do you all hang out a lot? Number one. Number we yeah, do, we do, we do. Yeah. 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 We genuinely no, do. That's hang mad. Out if they didn't hang out, like, yeah. Me, you. We yeah. just yeah. Yeah. Podcast yeah. When people start and they don't hang out with each other. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. We okay. definitely hang out hang with out each together. other. Okay. But it's not on camera. We okay. don't like do stuff. We are always like probably looking uh, like, like shit. Like, at yeah. Home. Like Please, never wash come face. Come to my house. Yeah. Never shower. Just come to my house. Yeah. But tell me. This, yeah. this never shower thing has been going on for a bit already it's this crazy. morning. We're not going to say anything. We're not going to say anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say. Oh yeah, so, so But you, we brush our teeth. <laughs> yeah, the bare minimum. It's the bare minimum, I would say. You know yes. what? We <laughs> accept people for who they are. Yeah, truly. At all levels of hygiene. Yeah, yeah. Right? No, no, but but talk, talk me through this. Yeah, like, yeah. What, what were y'all doing that y'all like, hey, should. Yeah. Okay, so it was during the pandemic. And I think during the Ooh, pandemic, yes. a lot of people were like, let's start a podcast. Oh. Let's start a podcast. Oh, right? Let's do. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we started See? before, Minghan. No, yeah, no, no, but you guys did, right? We really yeah, did. yeah, we read it. Um, but Belle and I, we were like, okay, let's start a podcast. And we were going back and forth for a long time. I think this yeah. has been in discussion for, I want to say, two or three years now. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but we, I don't know. It, it didn't happen? Uh? It didn't happen. Yeah. Our schedules were just too busy. Um, she was traveling a lot. I was traveling a lot. And then after uh, the borders open, oh. I think it kind of we kind of just forgot about it. Yep, yep. Until she called me. She was like, "Hey, I no, got actually, I reconnected with him yeah. when uh, I when after I moved. That you called yeah, me. when I when I yes. yeah, when I came back to KL, yes. I was like, "Yo, you know, we would hang out." And then I was like, "You know what? Belle and I actually want to start a podcast." Mm. So we spoke about this, and he's like, "Yeah." Let's talk about it yeah, more. Yeah. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. when I spoke to her about it, and I mean Ming has a uh, Ming Bell has a personal relationship with you guys, right? Yeah. So I think she felt safe mm-hmm. to do it finally, and I felt safe, obviously. Mm-hmm, That's mm-hmm. why we spoke about it, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, here we are, you know. And I get yeah. to spend time with friends. It's pretty. I mean, cool. it's so cool, right? I, I've never seen you this much. That's yeah. actually in the past true. Years. I know. It's crazy. Yes. It's, it's amazing. Sometimes maybe like one to come yeah. up. Yeah, it really yes. is. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that's pretty nice. And 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 the name of this show, uh, messy, and we mean it. What the f does that mean? Like you guys think Ming is interviewing that? No, he's he's genuinely asking I, I have questions. No idea. <laughs> so he's so really I also want questions. to know, like, what yeah. what is the name? Okay, you know, in short, it's mommy, M-A-W-M-I. That's crazy. Sounds cute, yeah? It so uh, happened. It so happened it to so get happened. it. It so happened to get it. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, so, I think it's just basically two girls getting together and talking about their life. Not so much about giving advice. I don't I even like want to say about giving advice. But just sharing and being vulnerable. Yeah. And oh, that's tough, just, man. Oh, I think yeah. after like, ha- like speaking for four episodes, yeah. it's yeah. so tough. Yeah. It's, not easy. it's yeah. easier for me to write down my feelings yes. Yes. and share about them rather than yes. like just sitting here and vocalizing about it, right? It. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I respect that. Yeah. I, 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 I like the, the honesty here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But for everyone who also doesn't know, the reason why I feel like the stories transcend normal people, because you both have very interesting lives. Mm. You guys meet a lot of people, you guys travel a lot. Mm. Your line of work uh, puts you in uh, very unusual situations. Yeah. Very yeah. unusual yeah. situations. Between yeah. life and work, right? Both you, both you ladies. Uh, you you cover so many different things, mm. and, and actually, that's true. One of the initiatives to to like consider this show was that uh, I think both of you share the same beliefs in in what work and 
being real with what you don't know in life is. Mm -hmm. Hence the title, Messy and You Mean It. Right? Because life is actually quite messy. So the messy yeah. part isn't like a physical, like... Could be. Oh, could it's be. also a physical mess. I mean, like, it could be like showering three like times a day. the mess that we... <laughs> wow. The mess in our that lives. That we call life. Yeah. Yes, the mess in like our that. lives, the mess in our head, the mess yeah. in our hearts. Yeah. yeah. And like, we might not solve all of it, to be yeah. honest. I love but that. honestly, yeah. we're, really we're like all that. working through it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and uh, I think that's what makes us yeah. human. If I dare say, Damn. if I dare say, kill me if I'm wrong, right? Okay. Um, one big theme, shit, right? That I, we always talk about with Belle. And now that since you've experienced the life on, the, on over the causeway, right? Mm -hmm. Is that whenever we go to Singapore and I, I talk to Belle, I talk to my Singaporean friends about this, there's always that need, right? To look like you got everything together. Yeah. Like you know what you're going to do next. My life is hustle. Yeah. I'm working towards that. And then I meet Belle and I meet like you. And it's just like, actually, no, we all just really faking it till we make it. Yeah, at some but point. here's the thing. Yeah. On our social media platforms, we would never actually yeah, yeah. admit that. Yeah. You know, because I don't know. There's just something so scary about being vulnerable and raw. Can I say I don't know? Can I say I don't know this? I cannot do that. Is it? What do you mean? Like, you cannot admit to people that actually, I might be wrong about this. I'm not sure what I'm doing about this. But that's what I felt like. And that's what stood out to me when you guys were talking about being vulnerable. Mm. Uh, because I think, for example, Bell. Yes, yes. Oh, no. You can finish your point first. Oh, like, like Bell, for example. right? A lot. I know a lot of our friends look up to the hustle that you have in like on your Instagram. Belle is like golden girl Instagram, golden. right? Like like the hustle culture. She's she like was the everywhere, pinnacle right? Of, yeah. you know, Singapore yeah. influencer. One day Singapore, next day Paris. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a and then next day, and then next Singapore. Day, KL. KL, yeah. 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 Like, I think what stood out to me and what really uh, drove it home was, hey, you guys wanted to be intentional about sharing with like, actually wow. we have no idea. We're just really making it up as we go. Yes, I mean, you had so my thing. question here, um, I'm a big fan of vulnerability. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, there is a trend nowadays where vulnerability has become its own brand. So there's a lot of uh, creators that yeah. bank on the vulnerability. Mm. How do you guys draw the line? Or like, because when you're too vulnerable, right, it becomes an act. Because you're only like, because you know see that, oh my God, see, oh my God, people are, people are really engaging in me when I cry. <laughs> I'm going to cry all the time. Okay. Where are we at on the spectrum? There is that side. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. We haven't gone there yet. Okay. We're still down. When the season dips, uh, we the, are still uh, trying. Then you all you come back, come back. Okay. <laughs> so it's the conversations between her and I now. Okay. Before every episode, before we mm. even um, banter about the topics that we want to come up yeah. with is, well, we have to be vulnerable and raw and we have to be brave. Yeah. So that is the talk that we give each other and to ourselves. Okay. So I don't think we've veered into that not category yet, where yet. we're like, this is me. <laughs> when because we like, do get there, it's actually I will really let you scary. know. Huh? Like, is I'm scary? unpacking trauma from like when I was in my 20s. Mm. That's a bit scary mm. to oh, talk about. It. It's like the kind of conversations that I have with Amanda at home. Mm. In yeah. our pajamas, yeah. having ice cream. You know, mm. that kind of thing. And yeah. Amanda and I are very different. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, like I she, think she showers, learn. right? Hey, I shower, I shower. She doesn't shower. I shower up, man. to excuse <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, hey. I Shit, okay. My friends. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, like, so that, I think that I like in a that. nutshell is uh, what stood out to me about what you guys wanted to do in yeah. the show. Because I was telling you as well, we all like, we've, we've got a lot of gurus in the scene right now. Um, Man, we're not here to be gurus. I think that's yeah. really, that is such a, a, a high pedestal to put yourself on. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I do listen to gurus, but mm. I think it's something that you have to earn. Oh yeah, yeah, um, wow. yeah, yeah. Right? And I would never call myself a guru. I personally have a spiritual guru who I really look up to, who I mm. seek advice from. And what I'm here is really just to share what I did mm. to, to get through that. Yeah. Um, and not, it's not going to apply to everybody. Everybody yeah. is different. Everybody's yeah. values are different. Everybody's personality mm. circumstances are different. But I think it's really just to, to put it out there that, okay, I think we are all just on this planet as human beings and this is a part of our journey. You mm. might relate to it or you might not, but it's just telling you that mm. it's not easy for, for everyone, Love basically. Bell, you know? You gonna say something? It's tough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys, I mean, obviously this is like the, 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 a sample of it. You know, uh, Love it. I, I think by this time, if you guys want to go I and check it out. can't wait to be a guest on the show. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to have, okay, and talk. What do you want to talk about? Do we have space? <laughs> hey man, whatever. I, I am a, I'm a vessel. 
Oh god. And I am just filled let's, up to the brim. Let's dig deep. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. I'm ready. I'm ready. So Messi and Mina should be out already. Yeah. Uh, these ladies also live very colorful lives. Ooh. So I think that's very. It's a very interesting meeting point. Yeah. Compared to uh, me and I, we're very boring. I. So bleh. if you guys want some stories, like not just like, oh, I went to the other event that day. Mm. No, these girls. They've lived, man. Speaking about stories. Oh, shit. It would not be a, a sit down moment if we don't talk about what Messi is. Damn. Um, there is an episode where Belle already recorded about one of the messiest times of her life that a flock of pigeons have graced upon her. Oh my God. But we're talking about mess, right? And it would be great to, to know like what is your messiest story ever? Like the biggest mess you're in. It can be... Uh, a uh, metaphorical mess. It can be a physical mess. It can be all kinds of messes. Uh, is do you have a messy story and the kind of mess that you can put up? Okay, are you guys messy people? Are you organized? It depends. People? Like I, I am a very hygienic person. Oh. I must wipe. Everything. Shower at least three yeah. times a day. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, the shower yeah. thing has to stop. <laughs> Should we give them a little bit of a backstory? I mean, I think after showering. No, no, oh yes. no! We oh. gotta talk about the showering. Stop. But if no. you want to, you if you that. want to, you can. <laughs> They're not sending any shower okay. water. I just want to say, okay? No, so, so. I I think it was. Yeah. The, uh, was it Julian? Was it the third episode in that the the bird the, the bird story? Yes, oh, yes. you're gonna watch the third yeah, episode. Yeah, okay, okay. We we can give the them a episode. teaser, but yes. you guys can hop no, over no, to don't. Yo, just go and watch the episode. Oh, just go. Okay. Else. It's funny. That one's funny. That's funny. Every time I tell my friends, they laugh. Yeah, <laughs> I would. I would guess so because it's insane. <laughs> like really, that day I was telling them right. If that happened to me, right, I really question God love me or not. You know. Mm. <laughs> really? But I, I would laugh. Eh? I love laughing in such situations. I'm like, oh my god. Mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I look down. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. This is mad. Okay, mess. Um, you wanna get you wanna get the ball rolling? I know Mingyu has some really amazing poop stories. I don't know which I, uh, I think, have I told these okay, on the podcast. Just as a disclaimer yeah. on our show, mess does not mean poop. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it, okay. On our show, it means poop. But for I me, feel like you guys have yeah, a very yeah. wrong, yeah. wrong con- like you know misconception of our show. It's right, not about right, poop. Bad. Right. No, no. It's actually the mess of life. Yeah. We actually oh, record man. your show. We record I'm not your like show just anymore. <laughs> no, no, like the engagement rate just kind of. Our set is drop. actually we found a toilet. We got two toilet bowls inside, and they just sit on the toilet bowl and record the whole show. That'd be, crazy. Really. That'd be quite show funny. Like that. Yeah, after that we need to sign up for uh, <laughs> medical insurance. You Shit need stories. to put a shower on top. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, that no, no, comes a different show. Stop! Oh Bell obviously no. doesn't think ahead when it comes right. to a lot of visuals. Bella, why don't you kick us off? Like, what's uh, okay. what's a great mess now? I'm not gonna lie. Like, when you ask that question, at the top of my head, I don't have anything. Mm. Um, I just feel like my whole life has been one big mess. Wow. You know? Oh, oh. that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. And it's still a mess. It's still a mess. Yes. I still feel very overwhelmed by everything that's happened to me. Um, okay, when I say everything that's happened to me, in the past two weeks, a lot has happened. Okay, like I had a helper run away, you know. Oh, I, whoa. Yeah, my, my helper ran away and it was a huge like emotional thing because my, the stability of my house was gone and then I had mm, to go and travel mm. and then my husband had to go and travel. So mm. it's just all very overwhelming. And mm. then a lot of work started coming in. How yeah. do you find that good balance? My, my brain is just really a mess right now. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. yeah. So I think um, lately what I've been trying to do is just really not let these thoughts overwhelm me and just uh, get through it day by day. Mm. Mm. Shucks, you guys are so meaningful. I was just going to say like, one of the craziest messes I deal with now is changing diapers. Uh, yeah, and I got some stuck in my nose because nice. I didn't realize. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, you can't get rid of it. I don't know what, is it smell? Eh? Why you cannot wash it off? Uh? Yeah. It just stays. Sorry, it happens to me. Maybe you need to wash your nose properly. (laughs) No, I do. I do. (laughs) I do. But no, Messi. Okay, so uh, on that note, uh, if you're talking about personal life mess, you can go watch that show because we're not here for that here. Oh wow! Okay. They're they're not there. (laughs) They're not there. We want to keep it like we 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 want to keep it like light and and bobby and bouncy. So I'll just keep the ball rolling. One of the best best messes I've I've been in is, uh, I decided to park my car outside the road one day. A uh, normal day at college. And my biggest mess was, uh, I got back to my car. Uh, someone stole stuff. Ah. But he didn't steal just anything. He stole my tire. Not just my tire. He stole my axle to the tire as That's well. That's crazy. So I can't even change my tire. He what? The, the, so you know the tire, usually people it steal the It sounds personal. The tire. Yeah, like this person did not want you to leave. This was a hate crime. But yeah, it was a hate crime. This was a hate crime. But he, 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 he is very nice. He leave me three bricks there. So can balance my car. Nice. <laughs> so, 
It's mad. I he can't... didn't need to, but he did. Yeah. I, I would understand if you break the window and take my laptop, you know. You I took my know. whole tire. Like, how do you take? How, like, what equipment do you need? But why only one? Why stop at one? I don't That's know. Yeah, if you already had so much effort to lift my car, right? He didn't other. just take the rubber. He didn't take the rim. He took the whole t- attachment of the tire. I had no attachment in my back right, back left. It was to a point where they cannot even tow my car properly because he got nothing to tow yeah, it on. So <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Yeah, serious, serious. Shit, I'm just trying to figure out how you got to fix the car. Oh, they had to bring a whole, they, so they brought they the, the truck over. No, no, I had to get a truck, not the tow truck, you know, the truck where they push the car on yeah, yeah, yeah. and they strap the car on yeah, and yeah. then they take me to something. But the best part about that is the mess story starts there because after my car came back, Someone broke into my car Yo, to again. steal wow, stuff. Man. It's the same so, guy. It's wow. 100%. I, I think so. It's the this area. Guy's following you, man. Oh, but wow. the best Which area part, is this? Uh, it's actually in uh, Damansara Heights. Shit. Oh. I, I used to go to college at Help, which was in Damansara Heights yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. So the best part was after they broke into my car, obviously you need to go do police report. La. So I'm like, hey, why not? I'm really going to make a police report. This is and wild. then I went and drive to the police station. But <laughs> it was lunchtime. Ah. Drive, 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 lunch police station. Uh, okay, I want to make a police report. I think it should be fine. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Hold on. Let me stop at the side of the road again. And I just run over, tap out some, uh, some fried rice and I come back. So I went tap out fried rice, I come back. Someone broke into my car again oh. and my other window was gone. 100% hit And man. then I, my whole bag is gone. My laptop was gone. Everything was gone. So when I went to the police station, I had three reports to make at the same time. That's and that was a great mess. Need to mandi bunga already. Mandi bunga is what? Yeah. This- oh, like cleansing. Ah. Cleans- oh, this was many years ago. I feel like the bunga that I mandi was the glass of my window screen. But yeah, yeah. It was wow. a great this why you cannot twice. Yeah, yeah. But like these are the messes in life that I feel. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a mess, like Physically, like I I do have a very. This is a, just a really weird pivot. I I got a lot of dust allergies, so I can't really deal with physical mess. I don't know about you guys, but I think my I have one corner of my house where I just pack all the mess, and wow. you stay there, and you don't see it. But everywhere else, I think. Pretty okay. Yeah. yeah, pretty clean. Yeah, yeah. I, I get allergies as well. It's pretty yeah, yeah. bad, like but sinus. I, yeah, but the only thing that I can't control now is I got a I got a baby who don't know how to use the toilet. Nice. So mess is waking up in the morning and then like she wants to jump on you. Papa, let's play, right? Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> What's that smell? And then like, oh, I got brown buttons on my shirt. Oh shit. Yeah. So it happens, it happens. Nice, my literally. My new baby know how to move her diaper. Oh. To scratch her bum. Damn. Oh wow! Yeah, so if she, when she moves the diaper a bit, then she doesn't move it back, and then when she doesn't move it back, it's painting time yeah, for the whole family. Uh, <laughs> yeah. what, what what is it called? Shit. Smear. Shit. Picasso. Uh. Monet. Tsunami. Shit. Tsunami. tsunami. Oh, thank poop God. Tsunami. Yeah, yeah, the one that rides up the back, right? Sorry, okay, I'm not going to go into much baby stories. Uh, like Bell, the poop, Picasso. Like, yeah. yeah. Bell, do you yeah. have a messy Bell. story? Mm. I got so many. Let's hear some. Mm. Let's hear some. The funniest one is the one in episode three. Okay, Aww. but what yes. other like when you think of the word mess right now, what's a recent mess or that comes to mind, or like the one that bubbles up? Even this morning, I felt like that. Oh was my mess. god, Mena, are what you led her shit? to not? <laughs> <laughs> what led this her to morning. not shop? Tell us what happened. Tell us what happened. Tell us what the f happened, Bell. This morning. Yeah. So normally I come to KL in in a car. Okay. But this time I decided- A private hire car. Yes, a private hire car. But this time I decided to take the plane. Okay. Then at the end of the day, I just realized that it took the same amount of time. Mm. Yep. I had to be stuck in many queues. Yep. Uh, stuck in a lot of jams. Mm. Couldn't sleep well. And I came here and I realized I still smell like the airport. So that's why they keep talking about my showering habits. I smell very nice, okay. <laughs> I think- yes. Yeah, I think the perfume is still- Never mind. It's okay. Well, it's okay. okay. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then what happened? You kind of missed the whole part. Yeah. The main part is that the you mess were that you left. Yes. Oh uh, no! The mess that I left is that our filming time was at ten thirty. Yeah. I reached at eleven forty five. That's right. That's yes. Right. So, we went for breakfast. So yeah. they yes. went for breakfast without me, but they got me coffee. So what we which really want, like? <laughs> no. which tastes like, which tastes like chicken essence. <laughs> so what we really want to share with Singaporeans is you come to KL, right? Actually, don't fly to KL, like, eh? Seriously. Can you give yeah, me the contact for this private hire car? Yeah, very good. yeah, yeah I can. I yeah, it. yeah. I, I have the have. the private hire. <sighs> but I think it's like what three times the price of a ticket. Oh, okay. Yeah. Depends if you have more than one person, okay, it's worth okay. it. Mm. Yes. Yeah. If you're yeah. going alone, okay. Cool. Maybe not. Maybe not. Cool. Same amount of time. I'll take fire fly next time. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. that's the closer one. But hey, mm. I think that's life. Mm-hmm. Uh, also partially because you weren't aware of like what was going on in terms of timing today. 
Me? Yeah. The mess begins when Jen goes on holiday, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Jen, Jen went on holiday. <laughs> Jen then comes back. Like, I was like, where is the calendar Jen. invite? Can we give some context? Who is Jen? Yeah. Uh, so, so Jen uh, uh, is my other half. You know, uh, I call her like my other brain cell. Mm-hmm. Um, so we navigate through like my social media and my work she life and every single thing. You as well. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Together. Cool. That's cool. Every Great single girl. thing. Mm. Yeah, later, uh, next time we ask her to say hi. Yes. Yeah. Where's yes. she now? Where's she now? Now she's uh, picking strawberries in Japan. Oh, yeah, looks vibes. damn good. Vibes. Yeah. Oh. yeah, she's been there for a week. It's mm. too long. Plus. Jen, come back. Mm. Just come back. When Jen. is she coming back? She's coming back in a couple of days. Okay. Oh, okay. So that means- I think uh, in about a week I'll see her again. Wait, that's still a long time. Yeah, she went you on like one you're... month holiday. Wow. Okay, so the rest Have of you the year. Mess quite... this whole month. Ah, uh, <laughs> I am still hanging by a thread. Okay, but that means <laughs> you know? it got quite bad, lah. Not really, lah. They, they okay. Is they this the advance. biggest mess so Is far? This the... No, like actually, it really? was worse before Share. her. Share. It was worse before oh. her. Oh, yeah. When oh. you were trying to juggle everything. Yes, when I was trying to juggle everything at once, so much so that my friends here gave me a button that says no. Oh. He tells this story every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah every yeah. single story episode. Every yeah, so every you'll time. hear this story okay, again. Okay. And maybe we should sell the button now. <laughs> I guess a lot of people need that a, also. Yeah, oh. that's much. But I'm so, I'm I'm very tickled by the fact that Jen knew in advance to plan your month without her. Yes. In advance. Yes. So, that's responsible. You know, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really responsible. Just the small things that slip through the cracks, like yeah. uh, flying to KLIA on a Tuesday or Wednesday morning. Yeah. I've got a question. Like when, when stuff like that happens, like like you were mentioning as well, that you feel like life has constantly, constantly been a mess for you. Do you feel defeated sometimes when stuff like that happens? When I... Before this, when I was not very good at like managing my thoughts and emotions, a hundred percent, and I will crumble. I crumble so easily. I'm yeah, like, oh my yeah. god, I'm so overwhelmed. And my then head is, is it like, like the I cannot mess. function. Crumble. I cannot function. Yeah, okay. I cannot function, and I get so overwhelmed. And then this is the part I hate the most, and I think that is the turning point for me. Um, is when I started taking it out on people, right? Like how like, like fist fights. No. That was when I was a kid. Did you know? Okay. 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 Like in kindergarten. Okay, okay. Like, no. That's mad. Right. Um, That's crazy. Like, what do, you, what do you do? You just like shout shit at people? No lah. I mean, I will, you know, after now, I mean, you're talking about now. Uh, my husband is a big one. Oh. Shout out Poor John. to Love John. Love Shout them. out to John. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, he's definitely one of my biggest, for lack of a better term, punching bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's not nice. Mm. That's not nice, right? I mean, after a while, you're just like, I mean, if I was on the receiving being and I would be sick of this shit. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I like that. It's real. <laughs> See, it's so real. Yeah. Uh, friends, closest yeah. friends, parents. Okay. Um, And then I had a child. So do I want to continue doing this wow. to my baby? Wow. Right? So, yeah, I mean, that was when I realized like, yeah, okay, let's manage this better. You know, mm. you are not a bad person. Yeah. You know, you just need to Understand yourself better and learn how to deal with it like in that. a way that's like more kind and more graceful to not just to yourself the but people to people around, around you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bell, what kind I think of, I'm the opposite, man. What happens? Are I'm you that the, kind that I'll stack, I'll stack, I'll stack, oh, I'll stack God. Yeah. as much as I can. No, I, like, I don't, you crumble. don't crumble. But that's I will, the worst. I, yeah. So, so I think there's a lot of like pent up stress Ooh. in me that I frown when I sleep. Oh, I you're that kind of. No. You grind your teeth as well. Like, yes. So, so I, can you give us a, this a how does that look like? I cannot lie. How do you know? You I know? I can do it. Like so I used to sleep here. like this. Yeah. Yes, yes. Then <laughs> no, you know what I call that? I call, I call that seriously sleeping. Like you're very <laughs> intense. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to sleep, bro. Yeah, I'm I got to work tomorrow. You're sleeping so hard. <laughs> 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 okay. And so that would manifest in your sleep. Yeah. That's but how you I actually use I, the word manifest, yeah, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. No. Sorry. Oh, shit. Was that a burn? To oh. Oh, you oh. In me. No, la, like, there are certain words that trigger us. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be another circuit to yeah, random yeah, story no, again. No, but no, hey, you're here correct. for the pod, right? Okay. Uh, we grew up in a very uh, Christian household. So religious stuff and everything. And one of the biggest things was like outreach to like outer parts, right? So we used to only use the word manifest oh. when it came yeah, to like yeah. demon possession. <laughs> oh, oh but I, I never knew. Oh. One of it. Yes, one of it but that's the extreme of it. Yeah, because yeah. when this kind of spiritual thing happened to people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they manifest oh, like the sacred. symptoms <laughs> of it, you know? Like, so, if then, you look at the in English, our mind, yeah, there's yeah. manifest, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> right, right, okay. In the English language, manifesting is not wishing into being. Yeah. 
it's the, the manifestation yeah, of a symptoms. manifestation yeah. is the physical embodiment of something that is within already. Mm. Right. It's not hoping for the future. So have we been using it wrong in that like, uh, oh, let's not, manifest. But, but then again, yes and no, yes and no, we live uh. in an era where people like to take words and make them their own. Uh, if yeah, it means anything yeah. at this point. Yeah, but no, yeah, back yeah. to Bell's story. Sorry, back with back. Uh, back <laughs> Your, okay. your stress was manifesting in your sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> okay. yeah, it's about and the same. It's about the same. <laughs> <laughs> and like how... She's sleeping in my house tonight, please. Oh. <laughs> She's going to wake up and like punch <laughs> you. <laughs> my friends are bullying me. <laughs> <laughs> you should go record her. <laughs> like for content. It's good. How do you... Damn. Do you feel like when life gets messy, do you... What do you... What happens? Like what's your breaking point? Me? What, yeah, what has been oh, your Oh, wow, point? so many. I, <laughs> I, I feel very heartbroken when mm. uh, I do not understand why the love that I give out will, uh, what does it not be returned, wow. but I will get hurt back. Wow. So they didn't just take your food. Uh, they, they, they throw, throw it the back at you, at you. After okay. they finish eating. They take eating. your food and take a shit on your floor. Oh! Yeah. Ah. What See, are talking about? Again, this is a very <laughs> specific <laughs> example. <laughs> Okay. Okay, well, I have this thing okay. where if I'm pissed off with someone, I'll be like, shut up. I'll take a shit on your floor. So oh, I, so I, 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 I can get behind that. Wow. I can get behind that. Okay, yeah. okay. I think it's a very powerful threat. Yeah. I feel like it's yeah. a very feral yeah. assertion of dominance when no, you take no, a it's, shit it's, on someone's very floor. Strong. I mean, I've seen my dog do it and it yeah. works with me. So I'm like, yeah. hey, wow, hey, she I'm knows gonna, what's up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to people's houses. <laughs> it's very powerful, I think. Like the act of it. So I think, right, stress. I think I'm very good at like trying to pretend have like okay. it all together and pretend that I am oh, okay. I have to say, you know? Belle, that I have to say one of your biggest thing is I know the stuff that you go through, right? My, oh my whole God. life of knowing you, I only seen you like break down twice. Yeah. That's there no one day. And then when you cry, you're still laughing and ask why, huh? Yeah. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. So much so that last time when I was in school, people say I fake, you know. Hey. Yeah. But that's so what like people want to happy. Just I know. I find it hard to be I, sad. La. I mean, yeah, I think yeah, after yeah, knowing yeah. Belle for so long, I think the two are not mutually exclusive. Wow. Like, they, they both can coexist at the same mm. time. You know, we're not... Um, th- we're not sad, one dimensional, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah. And I guess that's why also we are doing this podcast to yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. showcase that we are multi... Uh, you know, we, we have uh, multi... Yeah. We are multifaceted. Belle takes a social responsibility way above her personal responsibility to be happy. You know what I mean? Like, some people rather... Some people rather like, yeah, like, okay, serve la. the energy for themselves. You, yeah, you can take a shit back on my floor, but I'll just keep on giving food. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'll clean up your poop for you, you know, after that. I'm somehow. learning, I'm learning now. This year I learned. Don't take I'm, a shit I'm, on people's floor. No, to, 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 to love myself more and yeah, to know that yeah. actually, like, hey, actually, it's pretty cool to be my friend, you know? Why do I have to people please so much? Wow. Wow. Uh, hey, that's massive. I if know, you know right? Belle, that's, that's, that's character growth right there. That's thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Manifest, manifest. Man, manifest, manifest. A manifest is also the itinerary that flights use. You have a flight manifest for every flight. flight manifest. Goes out. Learning English Manif- now. Yeah, learning um, things, learning things manifesto is also a political <laughs> thing. Yes. Like mm. It's a declaration of what your company wants to do. Wow. So wow. only in our generation, Party. people yeah. feel like manifest is to manifest into being things like that. Yeah. You know? But hey, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Our generation will get it right. Uh, yes. I'm manifesting yes. that. Give I'm us some time. I'm um, so that. Mingyu, what is your manifestation <laughs> of messiness? Uh... <laughs> I think messy. I think mess manifests itself in many forms. Damn, yeah. The hell does that mean? Mess manifests itself. Like okay. I was, I'm just buying time to figure out what I was gonna say. Oh shit! Uh, I think like a messy inside manifests outside at some point of of time. Right, right. So right. I like I'm one of those people who who lived in organized chaos. Uh, okay. I can be very very orderly in certain parts of my life, right. but then other parts you're like, what the f? Do you get robbed? <laughs> Then I'm like, I think if I got robbed, the robbers don't even know where things are. It's how messy things are sometimes. That's, that, is, that is a statement for um, yourself. But I think one constant that I've had my whole life, and I don't know where it's come from. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I have, I don't usually get stressed out. So that's wow. why, like, I don't at all, at all. Really? I deal very for well real? with stress. I think Mingyu is a constant emitter. So like, it's not you build up for stress. It's like when it happens, it comes out straight there. So yeah. you don't, you don't, no, no, it's like, he deals with it right No, no, away. it's like, if someone piss you off here and now, you deal with it here and now, la, like, what's your problem? Like, you know, or oh. if, if like, uh, the closest example is, okay, I, like in certain facets, if a client job comes in, you don't like the thing, what the hell is this? And after that, it's done. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you, you wear your heart on your sleeve, would you say? Uh, yes and no. Yes and no. Yes no and for no. the stress part, maybe. For the stress uh, part, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I think all of us have main character syndrome, right? Like main, a lot of us, especially character. influencers and creators. Yeah. Is this a new right. thing? No, main character syndrome. Uh, it's not a new thing. I think it's just a different. Uh, it's a different way of explaining it. It's basically our ego. ego. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's basically like, our like, ego. It's like no? we are. We're the center like the, of the, the universe. universe. Yeah, we're the center ah. of our universe. Which is not wrong because everyone is the main character of their own lives. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, I would really hope so. Yeah, I would. I would. <laughs> I mean, no. Some people actually don't. Some people oh, they are think okay they're secondary. Being, yeah, yeah, a supporting <gasps> character, which is admirable, by the way. We'll Aww. talk about it in a different episode. Shit. Uh, but I like just just on that topic. The reason why I say that is because I feel sometimes when you have a very strong main character syndrome, uh, failures affect you way more than other people, right? Because mm. you're like, oh my god. I this should happen to me. I should be this. I should have this. I should be achieving this. And then when it doesn't happen, you crumble even higher, harder, right? Mm. Um, and I think uh, for me earlier on, when I realized that there's a lot of things I couldn't control in life, then it gets mixed with like my own anxiety issues, right? I realized that actually it's okay. Huh? That's how I would summarize life. It's okay. Damn. Mm. Right. Like like shit happens to you all the time. I almost died multiple times. Uh, yeah. And we talked about it in the previous episode. Damn. Hey, shout out. Um, Aeroplanes, man. I, I've had shit things happen to me over my life, but then at every point of time, I'm just like, it's okay. Like I, literal shit happens as well. I, like. No, I think one thing that mm. I've been kind of like telling myself is number one is acceptance. Mm. And number two is like, everything, there is a gift behind it. Yes. No is. matter how I'll be hard messy, to see though know, when it's messy. Mm. Correct. Hindsight is the teacher. Mm. Yes. Takes a or while. even like self-awareness. Oh my God. Right? Oh my, best my God. Everyone's best friend right yeah. now. Um, but when you can find that gift, mm, mm. I think it kind of steers you in the right direction. Oh yeah, definitely. You know? Definitely it is. It's not easy to find that gift. Yeah. It isn't. Yeah, yeah that's the catch, right? Mm. It's not easy, yeah. right? Mm. Hindsight. How can you go and hindsight without getting over it first yeah. or looking back? Yeah. So, you know, it's not yeah. like you can have, I mean, if you have foresight then everyone wins, lah, right? Yeah. But yeah. Damn, messy. Um, uh, yeah. I honestly think, okay, what are the levels of mess you can deal with if you're gonna put it into any of the situations that you just got? Because all of us have tolerance, right? Um, like for example, I mean, <laughs> the poor writers. Bella made this like, you know, maybe you can just talk about what the mess you can find in a partner and whether you're okay with their physical mess. Everyone's here like, my life. My life actually. <laughs> I just want to talk about how my life is. We're like- all such pain people. <laughs> yeah. Help. But you know what I mean? Um, okay, in, in that in that perspective, like, um, what is the levels of mess in your perspective, respective stories that you can deal with before it becomes an overwhelming mess? Like physical mess? Anything based on your story. Damn. Wow, you know? a lot. My threshold is high. Your threshold is very high. Very yeah. Actually, high. Actually, higher than mine, I feel. Very high. Way higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think for like in the last few years, I realized that if it disturbs my peace oh. and then I need to, so I need to find the courage to remove this mess. Ah, so you cut lah, you don't confront lah? No. I feel like Amanda confronts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there are two sides to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. There is one side that's um, been trained from a young age to kind of suppress my feelings. Okay. And then, and because of that, there is the other side that has emerged and is like, nah, I ain't gonna take shit from no, nobody. It's, it's bitch mode activate lah. Yeah. I like that. So, it depends on the situation. Yeah. Um, but okay, I lost my train of thought. I think for me, it's just I go home and <laughs> cry. Uh. You go home and cry. See, this is why we have a podcast. So we are this one, you know? Yeah, yeah, this that's is the opposite. Side. I go home cry. Mm. Then after that, I overthink so much to, hey, should I do this? But I shouldn't do this because I love this person. But oh, after that, I will wow. become like that. But actually, I, I don't feel good. But if I choose option three, which is cut, then after that, I look like the bad yeah, person. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. how? Then after I, that, I let it fester for like maybe a year more. Met. Yes. I guess the question was, are you uh, fight or flight? When, when when things hit the fan. Mm. I think I've been trained to be a flight flight person, but innately, I might be a fight mm. person. Your reflex is, your, ref- yeah. your first reflex is fight. Yeah. Right? I like to okay. fight. Okay. Like, so the first day of <laughs> kindergarten, I came home with a black eye. Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah. Who? I came home with a black Sorry. eye. Yeah, Who I was six years old. I don't know. I think I punched the girl first and, and then, then she, she punched me back. Okay, so <laughs> you'd be like, you should see the girl. <laughs> <laughs> she could no pee. You think this uh-uh. is it? <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, and it's a story that my father tells people to do this here. till today. He's very proud of it, is it? I don't know. Maybe that's why. Like, but I've always been a feisty girl. But okay, so I'm. Uh, you know, you asked me that question about like t- 
tolerance. You yeah. ask her that question. Mm. I'm building my tolerance. So I don't You're building feel, Yeah, I don't want to be that person. How do you, you catch know? yourself when you f- like like cuz I think to learn to build tolerance is self-awareness in itself, right? How do you catch yourself? How, what happens when you don't feel like oh my god, I should have been a bit more tolerant here? How do you catch yourself then? What what do you do? The hard way. Mm. So, oh. why I'm here doing all this work is because I had to learn it the hard way, yeah, right? Yeah. The repercussion, everything yeah, has yeah, repercussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, I have bit myself too many times, mm. bit people who have loved and cared for me, and mm. it's not a pattern that I want to repeat anymore. Oh, damn. Wow. <laughs> damn. Um, but also at the same time, what was your question again? <laughs> this is uh, this is the flip side uh, of Amanda. Like how do you catch yourself uh, when you <clears throat> want to build tolerance? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. How do you? What do you do when you catch yourself? And, and if you don't catch yourself, what triggers the hindsight mm. to be like, oh, I should have been? So I either suppress it mm. or I really express it like in the fiercest way possible because yeah. I just need to let it all out, okay. right? But the self awareness has helped me understand my body and to read the signs better. Wow. When I am angry, I can feel like my heart is burning. <gasps> I actually feel fire in here and I just want to rip someone. Damn. Like I just want to go at it. But because oh. a lot of it is text, so I'll be like, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay let's okay, okay. revise text. this, right? This is amazing. Mm. So would you say mm. your, your method of <laughs> dealing with your messiness is you boil the soup until it starts to bubble, then you deal with it. <laughs> yes. So you don't have, uh, let's not, it's, it's not reached a place where like, you know what, before it gets to boiling, let's like figure that out. It's like, only when it gets to spilling over, then let's talk about it. Maybe last year. Okay, last Maybe year. Maybe last right, year. Right, okay. um, I really, really, really started putting in the work after I gave birth, to be honest. Okay. And this year, a lot of situations still stress me out, still overwhelm me. I was literally just discussing a bit of work with her earlier, you know, things that I don't understand why, right? Um, but I cannot react in the way that I would like to. Mm-hmm. So I really have wow. to take a st- step back and be like, okay, let's be, you know. Intentional about dealing with it, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And like so- clear-minded, you know, not react out of emotion. Yeah. I'm very emotional. I think... All right, I think like just basing off like everything we said, right? Okay, managing mess and 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 moving forward. One of the best things that I've learned recently is like mess, okay? And and we don't use the word mess in a lot of situations, right? But I can I can I'm going to duplicate this into mess so if people can figure it out, whether it be physical mess or it's an emotional mess, confrontational mess, people and uh, whatever mess. Mess delayed is mess is mess amplified. Uh, what the 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 actual the actual um the actual statement was conflict delayed is conflict amplified. Wow. Or uh, or uh, uh, what's the word for multiplied? Sorry, multiplied. conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. Like a mess delayed is mess multiplied. Like it builds and compounds. Yeah, yeah, interest. yeah. And that to me has been such an interesting take on wow. how to solve certain things because I think we in a in a very passive culture we are like oh let it. That is, I'm, I'm a very big believer of like, it's okay, you do you until you hit a road or a roadblock and then we'll talk because, because until then, I always believe that if you're set in your way, you want to make that mess, you make that mess. I'm that friend in the group, right? Where, because uh, very early on, right? I feel like before it's time to confront someone about a mess, they won't, they won't believe it's a mess. They will just do what you do. Mm-hmm. I'd rather you be buried and smothered in that mess first then we talk about it. But something that I actively feel like we, I need to push to, especially now since, you know, there's two little, two little girls running around my house, is <clears throat> mess delayed is mess multiplied. Like conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. Uh, sadness delayed is sadness multiplied. Like if you don't deal with that first snowball effect down the hill, you're going to deal with a snowball that can trample your whole house, yeah. right? Um, it's true. But yeah, I, I think that limitations, like, like I don't know, I, I relate to that a lot because like, yeah, for me, right? I'm very tolerant in messes. Like if if I feel that that's your mess and that's how you do your things, okay, I'll, I'll it work alongside it. Yeah, yeah. Because who am I to know what you're dealing with in that mess, right? Mm-hmm. Like what if that mess gives you comfort? You know, what if that mess is you dealing with uh, your past or, or not, right? But but personally, right, my limitations of mess is very hard to tell as well because I don't feel stress. Like I I, I realize- Wow, this wow, is wow, a really weird family. character trait. No, 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 it's a really weird thing. No, because but it's good. Yeah. I've actually went to take a look at it. I've asked my friends. It's not. It's not. I'm. I'm blatantly saying I don't feel stressed. 
I don't feel the emotional sting of stress. Meaning that the anxiety, I lack anxiousness in like 99% things in life. Like I, I don't have that anxiety. Uh, what a twitch. nice way to no, live. No, it's not. Because right, uh, the only way that, that I feel stress is when it physically comes out. Oh, you lao sai. Oh. He doesn't lao sai la, Belle. He does, he does. He does, he does. Straight up. Straight up. Like physical symptoms. Yeah, physical symptoms. Makes Why did you go Makes to sense. that? Why was that the answer? I feel like, I feel like that's a real symptom. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but no, no, yeah, you're not wrong. I used to you, YouTube yeah. video and talking to a camera. This you're part. not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> this is the kind of conversations I have with my friends. No, but you're not wrong. Like, like to me, that that the the biggest thing that I I don't know how to deal with is because I can take on a lot of stress, but then suddenly my legs start bleeding because eczema break out, and I don't know why. You know what I mean? Like it physically comes out. So like, I, I feel that that was quite an interesting question to ask, especially because you know, you're messy and you mean it. I feel to thrive in this world, you need to be able to handle mess. Oh yeah. And the not, the, and especially the element of like, not cleaning up now. Because like, like, you know, what can you deal with versus what you can't deal with? Yeah. And then how you like yeah. figure that train tracks in the middle, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that the, the it, I'm, I always envy people who can deal with it now. Mm. Like, like, like reflex, the reflex one. Because I don't know how to do that. Like, uh, I mean, unless it's a client. But, but you have but. to do it wisely. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Not just like lash fear. out. My fear is like, I don't do it wisely. That's why I don't like, unless it's very, like, like okay, my team has definitely seen it. Unless I know very objectively what we're talking about, like if it's a job like, and people give you a stupid brief, like I objectively know what their brief is and I'm only like criticizing the brief. Yes. But when it comes to people, right, I assume immediately I know nothing about your situation. So I let it pass and I let it pass. But then that's where the whole thing comes like, you know, mess delayed is mess multiplied, right? And that's where I feel, to me, that's the learning experience. This, this thing. So would you say like the way you deal with work stress or work mess is very different from like your personal... Oh yeah, 100%. Because I think in work, we're all bound together by an objective of work. And you have exactly. to be professional, right? Correct, correct. You have to be professional yeah. about it. And there are certain things, it's very easy to measure what you're trying to achieve. And more importantly, it's easy to measure what you mess up, right? And and we know that, to, <laughs> I say this now, of course, we had a really big joke about it recently. To a certain point, I know you're not messing up because it's your characteristic. It's because it's a, eh. a skill set. I always assume first, it's your skill set that is delayed. Then sure, it comes into like, are you tardy? Are you not tardy? Then we can objectify it, lah, right? But in work, it's very simple because I don't assume that I need to know which birth order you're in, which mercury is rising at what point uh, to, to it affects your work, right? But when it comes to people problems, I feel that, you know, you sponge it in too much first and then you don't establish a trust where you can critique. Then that's where the dealing with the mess comes in, right? Also, usually our episodes are not this serious, but I feel like these ladies love this kind of thing, yeah, and we're just we're well, just diving into it right now. Madness. Uh, well, yeah. she did bring up Lao Sai, so yeah, that yeah, lightened the mood a bit. I just want to say that's that's <laughs> actually regular conversations with Belle, you know. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I I do get it. I envy the people who can immediately tackle, which is a lot of my friend group in in my my uni, like like because they were all like psychs, right? They can do it there and then. They can do it and and not do it out of emotional lashback but yeah. it's like like being objective like this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like, it's very hard. You are dealing with two emotions in that situation, right? right? Because even if you can deal with it like neutrally, the the rebutting won't yeah. be that. Yeah, you, it's very hard to predict what the other yeah, person Yeah, I suffer with that as well yeah. because if you are charged up emotionally in that moment, every uh, standard or logic is different mm. in, in certain senses. But yeah, I think for me, the, the mess dealing, I can deal with a lot of mess. Like I'm very okay with I mean, we grew up in the same room together, for example. You can imagine two boys living in one room, what kind of mess they can become, right? Mm. Sometimes I forget that we have clothes under the bed kind of mess, you know? Like, like, wow. like it's, it's mad. My mother will come in and like, I, I did not raise pigs, basic, basically, right? Uh, and now, yeah, with, with uh, family and everything, I think uh, we, we slowly expand our tolerances of mess until it becomes too much. Wow. So, the, to watch their podcast, Messy and Mean It, maybe there should be a mess check every... Every, we do. Every, oh, we do every we episode. Oh, there yeah, at go. the end. Like, what's the mess that's been going on in your How about life? this? Whoa. Let's, let's, let's yeah. end. Let's end the episode with how you would end a messy podcast. Okay. Okay, how, what, what should we do now? So, mm. what's the mess that you're currently dealing with? Wow. Wow. I like that. That's how, okay, what's, so everyone listening in, what's a mess that you're currently dealing with? Uh, for me, it would be, uh, 
I won't call it a mess. La. I'll call it a thing. I'm dealing with trying to get my in-laws to properly move closer to KL. And it's a... It's a it's, no, they're Melaka. They're okay. Melakan. They're okay. Melakan. So the intricacies that you need to balance is like, number one, old people don't like to move, right? Because there's a sense of familiarity and all that kind of thing. And also it's not my battle to fight because you got to respect the, you know, my wife and everything. So, but that is the intricacies of a bit of a mess because that family issues, family dynamics, why you don't move here, why you don't, why you want to move here. Uh, I'm too old, I'm not too old, I can't drive. Yeah, that is something that I think uh, currently that is the, not a mess, but is the dealing with learning learning another family's dynamics, like really learning it beyond your husband or beyond your wife. I feel like that's a very interesting learning curve. What about you? Oh my God, I was so intently listening that I completely forgot my mess. Okay, can you go first? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, now I have to think about okay, my okay, mess. Okay, I can go. I can. Mine your, is my your, sleep your mates, cycle. Your mates, <laughs> it's your, your sleep cycle. cycle. Oh, it's so bad, you know. So I think there's this, there's this term, they call it revenge bedtime procrastination. Is wow. It? I have that. Oh. I actually know what you're talking about. Dude, TikTok is so bad. Vivian is there. She's, I just... She's uh, addicted. Because you want to not. pay back for the time that I couldn't have in like, a day. I deserve to laugh I now. Deserve you know? to I deserve nothing, to do nothing. Right? I deserve to scroll. Yeah. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. And then it becomes two and a half hours. Mm. Hey. Oh. Right. Okay lah. Yeah, she does that as well. my, my body got uh, a coping mechanism. Out Vivian for, does know? that when oh. she wakes up in the middle of the night and then she just continues and then she goes Are back you to scroll? sleep. Then you're the kind that like close your eyes. Sorry, am I just outing you? we we'll do another no, episode. We all, we'll all see you online. Name Vivian. and shame. It's okay. It's we all see your status last seen a few minutes ago. It's okay. <laughs> so many stories. <coughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so, so that's what you're at right now? Yeah. What are you doing to deal with it? Uh, still working on it. Uh, okay. I, I told myself that I don't need so much sleep. It's okay. But no, I realized no, no, that now, correct. oh, that's it's not. not. Like when you build it up though, yeah, no. when you put it together, it's no. like, oh my God. Every, why does everything yeah, yeah, like that you have the sleep debt thing yes. and then there's revenge sleeping and it's yes. just, it's a whole thing. It, it just is evolves. Um, you. Oh, so we don't have like, you just tell the mess and then there's no like, no, how you did it? She's yeah. still dealing with it. I'm still learning. What are you doing to deal with it? Yeah. Uh, how are you I, learning I, to deal with I'm it? I'm this close to deleting my app. Okay, don't. Oh. Don't do that. No, because then, yeah. I don't think removal is the solution. Because when you, you bring it to one day, yeah, to deal with you it install it back again, then mm. it's like back. Correct, correct. You know? correct. Then I switch to Netflix. Then that is yeah, like two exactly. episodes. Yeah, yeah. You see, you see. Delete Netflix or so. Yes. Then yeah. it's like, where no, does the cycle stop? You know? so, so it's like to make it less accessible. Okay. Like, how I can about only watch leaving, Netflix on my hey, laptop. How about just leaving your phone so there's away from your bed? Yeah, yeah, correct, correct, correct. Like put it at like your... Your makeup dresser. Your drawer. But ah, in Singapore, quite small. Reach it. But then it just... also helps you wake up because you have to wake up, get up to turn off the alarm. Outside the room. Outside the room. Ah, I see. Cannot uh, take alarm. No, oh. no, can hear my alarm. Very, very loud one. I see. Okay. But, but it's also enjoyable, you know, at the end oh, of yeah. the day. I mean, usually things you know? that are bad for you are quite enjoyable. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. That's the blanket statement. No, I, I really, I really. <laughs> I, think, I think everyone likes the revenge everyone scrolling it, at yeah. night. Yeah. It's your me time. It's today's version of let me be by myself. Mm. Even on the side, just you know? like doing this. You know? Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> so okay, should we all hold you accountable to? Yeah, we'll check with you. Yes, yes, yes. I want a six, six. No, not six hours. Do you want accountability or not? Yeah, uh, yeah, I need. That means we message you at twelve, and if we reply, I will sleep. Amanda will f you up, man, for yeah. reals. She be like, "Why are you not sleeping?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. She we black got eye, a recording tomorrow. She black eye you oh, in the middle of the God. night. Yeah. Just bam, bam, like that. Two eyes. So like, tonight, <laughs> tonight I'm staying at a place, right? Yeah, so she'll open the door in. at twelve. She's are you asleep? Put a baby cam in the room. Yeah, I have Lollipop a lot her. of baby cam. Yes. Oh my God! I have a lot of baby cam. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. You can, you can take. We can arrange. Yeah, and also my phone. I can give you guys a live feed. Oh, I'm ready. Live feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invite us all. We'll collab the live stream, and then you just open the door and see what she's doing. Okay. Oh my God. I think you can see whether I'm frowning. Also. Yeah. yeah, I'm so worried for that one. Me, okay. what's your dealing um, mess? I think I'm in a I'm, I'm I'm in a stage where I feel like I need to get a lot of um work and uh plans that I have and I want to achieve and do, but it doesn't feel like it's mapped out properly, and I don't like that. Uh, oh, wow. I think I think because we're working with the team at large now, um, it's you have these lofty ideas of things that you want to do and achieve, uh, goals and objectives, but then to put it down into what it looks like day to day. Sometimes it's very scary and I've been putting mm. that off for a while. So like, you know, you want to do this, you want to do that. What are you doing in the everyday to, to get there, right? I will do small tasks here and there, but nothing actually sees me sit down and like map it out completely. And I think that's a process that I don't, I hate doing that. But when I do it, it doesn't stop. So that's why I'm also like, oh my God, I need to, uh, I think that's my mess right now. It's actually just a mess that needs to be put in order. So that's, that's where I'm at. 
it like sounds the, like a nice mess. It's like, it's a, like a, no, but it's like also a perceived mess. You get what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I think everyone wants to know what the future holds. Uh, I'm, but I'm also a procrastinator. Okay. Like, <laughs> I'm a massive procrastinator. And like my senses sharpen when it gets close to the deadline. Same, and then same, psh, same, psh, same. Oh, I just lazy. I work scene. best under stress. Yeah, yeah, I do as well. Give me a deadline. <laughs> Give me a deadline, timeline. If not, I will never do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, when it happens, oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I, I. So it's technically, it's a situational stress and mess. Because in situations yeah, yeah, yeah. that demand that you figure it out, you figure it out. But if you know that you have leeway to the stress and mess, you are okay with it. Yeah. No, I think, yeah. I, I mean, the, that's the, the good and bad thing about being a leader or a manager, right? Like you have smaller things that can be done by you and other people. And sometimes mm. I'll just put it on, I'll take it on because I don't want to do the things that I need to actually be doing that other people can't be doing. That's the kind of stuff that right, I'm right, like right. building we'll, my plate with at the moment. We'll do, we'll do a leader and building company things today one day. Yeah. But Amanda, Amanda? What, what do you think your immediate mess is that you're dealing with right now? and you want to get over. It's still a leftover from what I was talking about just right, now. I think right. I'm still reeling over the fact that my helper ran away. I was just going to um, say that. Yeah, so there's yeah. a lot of instability of my in my household, which is very unsettling. Mm. So our new nanny actually just arrived yesterday, but I've been in and out of the country for work, yeah. right? So you've not really like... I have not. Correct. I've it. not had the time to orientate her. I've not had the time to really see how she functions, you know, yeah. her attitude. And everything, which is very unsettling because she's dealing, she's helping me take care of my baby. Yeah, yeah, you of know, course. I would like to get to know her better. Um, so, I mean, I don't have a solution. I don't have a yeah. uh, short-term solution. Um, I guess right now is just really trusting the process, mm -hmm. accepting mm -hmm. it for what it is and just taking it day by day and not freaking out and mm. like, you know, going to my husband and be like, what's happening, you know? <laughs> Like, let's not do that. Yeah, yeah. it's like John has a better answer at that yeah, point, right? No yeah, way, that's yeah. you, you does <laughs> yeah. like, I also don't know. <laughs> so, then you get even more stressed out. Yeah. Why? You don't know? <laughs> yeah, you know? Then so just take a shit in each other's floors. Oh, it, it's not just uh. dealing with the mess, but it's also dealing with how I deal with the mess. Mm. If that makes yeah, sense. That's a big one. Yeah. That's, that's the big yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if, I don't know, I act like both sides of the coins, I, some people need to learn to deal with the mess the initiative, active step of it. Some people need to, to learn to dealing. step back and mm. like, indeed mm. over dealing with it. Mm. But hey, I hope you guys all dealt with this episode well. What an episode. This one you really need to sit down. At some point, Shit. if by this point that you're still standing up, I question how you're listening to this. Yeah. Uh, you could have gone to Malacca and come back at this point. <laughs> all the best guys. It's 2024 mm. and the third month is already done. Oh, Wait, so you done did it fool. You got three more, three more quarters to figure it out. And if you haven't, there's always messy and we mean it to, yeah. to, to tune in too. Thanks for joining us, girls. Thanks, guys. Thanks, you ladies. Yeah. Thanks and uh, for, for everyone else, we'll see you guys joy. in the next episode. Go joy. Cheer. Go hey fat choy. Oi, sit down. Lah. <laughs>